My fathers were with the Black Prince of Wales, at the passion of the blind Bohemian king. They served in these fields. It is in the histories that you can read it, Corporal. Boys Gower they were. It is writ down, yes. What about Methuselah, Taffy? I was with Abel when his brother found him, under the green tree. I built a shithouse for Artaxerxes. I was the spear in Balin's hand that made waste King Pelham's land. I took the smooth stones of the brook. I was with Saul, playing before him. I saw him armed like Durval Gatheran. I, the fox-run fire, consuming in the wheatlands, and in the standing wheat in Cantium made some attempt to form, between dun August oaks their pied bodies darting. And I, the south air, tossed from high projections by his olifant, the arid marcher slopes echoing, should they lose Clarispania la Belle. I am sixty-two Socrates. Yeah, my feet are colder than you think on this Potidian duckboard. I, the adder in the little bush, whose hibernation end undid, unmade, victorious toil in Ostium Fluminis, at the four actions in Regione Linuis by the black waters, at Bassas in the shallows, at Catcoit Celidon, at Gwynion Redoubt, where he carried the image, in Urbe Legionis, by the Valor Mantonini, at the place of boundaries, at the toiling estuary and strong flow called Tribruit, by Agned Mountain, on Baden Hill, where he bore the tree. I am the loricated legions. Helen Camelodunum is ours. She's the toast of the regiment. She is, in an especial way, our mediatrix. She's clement and loving. She's Friday's child. She's loving and giving. Oh, dulcis imperatrix, her ample bosom holds Pontifex Maximus, comes Litoris Saxonici, comes Britanniarum, Gledic, Bretwalder, as these squareheads say. She's the girl with the sparkling eyes, She's the bracelet giver. She's a regular draw with the labour companies, whereby the paved army paths are hers that grid the island which is her dower. Ellen Luthaug she is. More she is than Helen Argive. My mob digged the outer vallum. We furnished pickets. We staked tripwire as a precaution at Troy Novon. I saw the blessed head set under, that kept the narrow sea inviolate, to keep the land, to give the yield. Under the white tower I troweled the inhuming mortar. They learned me well the proportions due, by water, by sand, by slacked lime. I dressed the cyst. The beneficent artisans knew well how to keep the king's head, to keep the land inviolate. The bear of the island, he broke it in his huge pride and overreach of his imperium. The island dragon, the bull of battle. This is the third woeful uncovering. Let maimed kings lie, let be. Oh, let the guardian head keep back, bind savage sails, lock the shield wall, nourish the sowing. The war duke. The director of toil, he burst the balm cloth, unbricked the barrow. Cruel feet march because of this. Ungainly men sprawl over us. O oh, land, O oh, bran lie under, the chrismed eye that watches the Frenchman, that wards under, that keeps us, that brings the furrow fruit. Keep the land, keep us, keep the islands adjacent. I marched, sixty thousand and one thousand marched because of the brightness of Fleur, because of the keeper of promises, we came no more again, who depleted the island, and this is the first emigrant host, and the land was bare for our going. 
O oh, blessed head, hold the striplings from the narrow sea. I march, sixty thousand marched who marched for Keenan and Ellen because of foreign machinations. We came no more again, who left the land without harness, and this is the second emigrant host. Oh, Bran, confound the council of the councillors. Oh, blessed head, hold the striplings from the narrow sea. In the bathed chamber, confuse his tongue. That Lord Agravain he urges with repulsive lips. He counsels, he nets us into expeditionary war. Oh, blessed head, hold the striplings from the narrow sea. I knew the smart on Branwen's cheek and the turbulence in Ireland. And this was the third grievous blow. I served Longinus, that duck's back blind and bent, the dandy tenth of my regiment, who diced crown and mud hook under the tree, whose five sufficient blossoms yield for us. I kept the boding raven from the dish. With my long pelum, I beat the crow from that heavy bough. But I held the tunics of these. I watched them work, the terrible embroidery that he put on. I heard their sighing for the feet so shod. I saw Cock Robin gain his rosy breast. I heard him cry, Apples been ripe in my garden. I saw him die. I was in Michael's trench when bright Lucifer bulged his primal salient out. That caused it. That upset the joy cart and three parts waste. You ought to ask, why? What is this? What's the meaning of this? Because you don't ask, although the spear shaft drips, there's neither steading, not a roof tree. I am the single horn thrusting by night stream margin in Helion. <laughs>